Welcome to the Let's Code Physics Fall 2021 channel update. First, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on with me. I've had a very busy but productive summer. Um, just this past month, I got two revised papers in. They are in their final versions. One's already been accepted. The other one is pending acceptance, assuming we can address the reviewer's concerns, which I think we did. I think we're in pretty good shape, but you know, it's, it's pending, it's tentative. Um, I also submitted an NSF proposal uh, last week, um, computationally related, not really necessarily gonna show up on the channel, but just for some computational high school education stuff. Um, my students and I had a lot of presentations at American Association of Physics Teachers and Physics Education Review Conference, but you've spent the last month watching those come out on Mondays. Um, looking ahead to the fall, I've got a pretty busy schedule as well. I'm still on what's called a visiting faculty position, which I'm very excited for, very grateful for, but I need to be applying for jobs and interviewing this year, so my schedule is going to be all over the place, I'm sure. Um, with that though, I am committed to this fall returning to releasing two videos per week. So I took a pause from that for the summer, uh, just reducing it to one video per week, um, just to manage all the other stuff I had going on. But in the fall, uh, getting back to two videos per week. Um, we're gonna be releasing on Mondays and Thursdays each week. Mondays are gonna be the usual uh, content that you're accustomed to, uh, coding tutorials in a physics uh, environment with physics applications. Uh, and then Thursdays, I want to try something new. I want to try starting some conversations for physics educators or for STEM educators in general. I mean, I know more about physics than I know about any other field, but you know, certainly if you're a chemistry educator looking to integrate computation, I'm happy to talk to you too. Um, I want to give that a try and see what the response is like. I'd like to get the conversation started about how we integrate computation. What are the challenges? What are some cool ideas? It might involve things like just starting a topic and, and sharing my experience and, and my thoughts and kind of what I've read about it and conversations I've had with people about it and then seeing how the conversation evolves either here in the comments or on Twitter. If that goes well, great, I'll keep that up. If not, I'll also try things like reviewing pickup exercise sets or uh, just looking for other you know computational activities uh, online because there's a wealth of stuff out there that I want to make sure I direct my viewers' attention to. So like I said, those Thursdays are going to be geared more towards educators. I know there's a number of you watching uh, who are physics or CS or engineering or STEM educators, uh, and I want to more explicitly you know, bring in that element to the conversation there. But on Mondays, uh, like I said, we'll have our usual uh, Let's Code tutorial videos. Um, I'm looking at a couple different series for this fall. The first one I want to start out with is projectiles for the high school or first year university level. Uh, the goal is to get beyond constant acceleration because really with computation, you can do constant acceleration trajectories in about five minutes. And so we're going to go over what the math looks like. We might do a couple of experiments for comparison. But my goal is to get to a point where we're comfortable with a computational model where we can do things like add the drag force, add a lift force, add a thruster, you know, all kinds of stuff you can add there. Um, some of you might remember I have a, a projectile series from several years ago now. It is still gaining traction and getting attention. So this is going to kind of be the, the version 2.0 of that series because new viewers deserve something a little bit more coherent than what I posted a couple years ago. Um, I definitely want to continue with fun with Lagrangians. This is this cool series where I do, a, it's sort of a series of series because it, it involves several episodes tied together where we do a little video analysis experiment. We play around in Algo Do as a simulation. We uh, we derive the Lagrangian for the system we're studying, and then we uh, run the Lagrangian system that, that, that we, we solve the equations of motions numerically to try to get out an animation and some cool graphs. And so each one of those generates about four or five uh, individual videos that kind of tell a whole story succinctly, but then the broader series is about how you use the Lagrangian formalism to study classical mechanics. It's one of my favorite topics and it's been well received, so I'm looking forward to continuing with that. I think I have an idea of the next problem I'm going to do, but if you have a suggestion for a Lagrangian problem you'd like to see 
studied and simulated here on the channel, please uh, leave a mention in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you about what you're interested in there. And then I think toward the end of the fall, probably around November-ish, uh, I would like to do a series on linear algebra. This is something that I've had on my docket for a while now, for several years, and it just seemed like other topics always kept coming up. And now I think is a good time to transition into that. Linear algebra is a tool that we use over and over again in physics. You, you really, you almost can't do physics at the upper division, undergraduate or graduate level without linear algebra somewhere. And if you, and if you're not doing it, you probably are doing it just without knowing it. So I want to take a look at how we work with linear algebra stuff in Python and or maybe MATLAB because MATLAB is designed to handle uh, matrices really well. So that's what I'm thinking about for the fall. Thank you for your continued viewing and uh, I look forward to interacting with you over the next few months.